Okay, this is the C2 that's going to a friend of mine in Germany. He's been very, very patient with me while I finish up some things on this car. For all practical purposes, it's done. I'm just waiting on a couple of parts. And the parts I'm waiting on, I'll show you on this car. This model here I'm gonna be running. I'm gonna find out just how fast this car will run, where these cars will go with these engines. This is a Conley clone V8, whereas in this car, now this model, it's a real uh, Conley. Um, the only difference is uh, that really, the, the Conley clones don't have internal water pumps. So I had to, um, I had to improvise and put a water pump on it, but I'm fixing that in all, the, all my models. I'm actually having this part milled to accept the internal water pump so this goes away so that all the cars look like this in terms of the plumbing inside. Much cleaner scale look. Anyway, this model here, what I've done is I've taken the wheels off, the billet wheels, and I've printed up some um, PET G wheels to decrease the uh, rotational mass because I'm going to find out just how fast this will run. Most folks uh, don't know how fast they run because they don't run these vehicles and these cars, rather these motors in cars. And sometimes I see them in boats uh, and I see a lot of them on test stand, but rarely, rarely do I see them on a car and then someone just running it full out. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm about ready for this with this model. And here, what I've done, um, along with having this piece here milled from the shop and the water pump uh, cover milled, uh, this is holding the obviously the alternator. The alternator produces AC, right? Alternating current. And I've taken a, a rectifier circuit here. I've hidden it inside this booster, right? Brake booster. And what I'm gonna do um, is I run the wires to it. And you see here, I have, um, I have this thing looking like their uh, brake lines coming out. In actuality, there are the wires coming out that will connect this rectifier circuit to um, the alternator when I get it installed on here. So that's the idea behind this right here. This is just set up now for just for look's sake. But this car is ready to go. All the electronics. I've done something different in terms of setting this up with servo for a throttle. It has its own throttle for the servo, direct connect, versus this one here. If you'll notice, it's a wall barrel carburetor, so it's gas. And what we did was I just used uh, one line, and um, I, I set it up a little differently back here for the, off the same servo for the brake, right? Just comes here and runs it back. Uh, but this one, I have a servo up here for the throttle. I like this connection a little better, um, but it's, either one is fine. It just depends on what kind of what kind of engine. My buddy here had this Conley at home, and so he sent it to me from Germany, and uh, I put it in for him. And so I can put in either. Uh, the Conley original with these Walboro carburetors, or I can go with someone who's doing something like this, right, and straight to the uh, right to the Perry carburetor. But here's all the all the fixings back here, all the good stuff, right? Electronics and everything set up and back here, ready to go. I'm going to charge the batteries uh, tomorrow. I'll, I'll start this up. Well, maybe not tomorrow. Sometime this week, I'm going to start it and run it. I have to charge the batteries. I'm waiting for a couple of parts. As soon as I get this part here the alternator, the bracket, I'm gonna start this up and run it. I've got the water in here. It's all plumbed, it's ready to go. I think the only thing I need to do here is to adjust the brakes. It's got four wheel disc uh, hydraulic brakes on it. And that's that. Let me give you a quick tour of this car. My buddy uh, Oliver, his car, um, as you can see, uh, it's nice. I mean, the doors, this is the toughest part of these builds, getting these doors right, right? And if you'll see that I, I just, they, they've really got, just they're really clean, the way they're lined up. And this car, you'll notice, you know, I'll show you the hinges here, right? You see the mechanism for the door. The glove box, of course, works. Of course, the seat belts, you know, the seats actuate, right? Uh, they fold down. You see the uh, fuel tank here, rather the uh, cat flea fuel tank. Over here, open the door, you'll see the brake pedal, the clutch pedal, and um, the um, foot pedal for acceleration. Um, obviously steering, key ignition, and you'll look, you'll see the vents here um, for the AC right there. Also, I gotta tighten that down, but there's the emergency brake release right there, okay? So all the details there, um, I'm, I'm done with all the details now. This car is finished. I love the look of this engine bay, particularly with these brake lines, being that they're functional in another way, just for me, it's just a nice feeling. So. As soon as I get the next parts for this, this car gets, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it together, get the carpet put in it. And uh, I've got a gentleman waiting to sand it down and, 
and uh, paint it. So with that, I just wanted to say um, stay tuned. Take care. <laughs> Looking forward to running this. Bye-bye.